Hello and welcome back to another Red Resurrection 1v1. This is from uh, my perspective and uh, it's going to be the first in a uh, kind of best of three between me and Admiral Pitt. Uh, we just played three games and I'm going to do some commentary for them now. Uh, they're on well they're on some of the recent maps. Two totally new maps that are in the works and uh, one from the last patch, playing competitive, so uh, got sort of uh, hardcore rules on. This is on one of the new maps called uh, Cornered, and the reason it's called that is because uh, it's kind of a corner. <laughs> There's uh, the route uh, along this way, along kind of the bottom uh, middle towards the enemy base, and uh, up here there's a high sort of ridge uh, and there's a little back entrance up there with some ore as well I don't think I actually show off the map so you'll be able to take a look at the little uh, mini map at the start of the video um, he is playing Libya I'm playing as Japan uh, random to Japan here's the middle bit and uh, yeah Got there too slow. I always do that, man. <laughs> I never, I never uh, rush out in all directions fast enough. But I did get the uh, the south middle area, so um, and that is the kind of route that I'm, I think I want wanted to, to wanted to take. I uh, wanted to do like a you know fast attack straight through the middle. And as you can see, I'm. Delaying my economy expansion because I do want to do like a push now that he has captured the the high ground. I kind of want to um, not let him secure the advantage too much, although it's still early. But he has built a Tesla reactor. That looks pretty pretty vulnerable. Blown the uh, Tesla reactor there in the middle. Um, but yeah, I think uh, you know these new maps have a particular kind of set of. Uh, Values, I guess, themes uh, that I've been putting into them. Uh, I, you know, I like this kind of like multiple routes to the enemy base kind of thing that are distinct routes, so that you can't. Uh, you kind of have to choose which direction you want to go in. You can't focus in all directions. It kind of divides your attention. It allows, uh, you know, the enemy to uh, to attack. And be so like this guy. <laughs> See how he's attacking into him, and then this bloody scorcher came from absolutely nowhere. Uh, from one of the rear routes, and um, see this, this kind of creates more interesting dynamics in the game. And um, that's one of the things. And lots of like spread out ore, so you have to kind of expand a bit more, and um, you know try to create maps that, that emphasise the new features of the mod and um, the kind of gameplay that I uh, at least think that I want to see. Depends if I lose too many times, maybe I'll uh, change my mind. But. <laughs> Here we are, so I've got a kind of successful little push here. I destroyed um, a uh, Tesla reactor, I think. I'm not sure if I destroyed anything else. Maybe another battle bunker, actually, I can't remember. Moving my uh, GIs there to try and use their explosives, but he did, does place another battle bunker down, so I have to retreat there, and I guess I'm, you know, my units are pretty much forfeit. Got a slave miner out already, so. Um, he's powering into the economy, which is the way to do it as Libya. They do get a very powerful economy with those slave miners. It's bonus income. I'm trying to build out some Rikishi here, but I think, you know, look at my money, I'm, I've pushed it a little too far now. I should be focusing on the economy, which I'm just starting to do now, and uh, haven't been harvesting the gems well enough. Um, There we go, we're going to try and capture the machine shop. With an engineer in the IFE. But. But. Ah, stupid. Ah! Ah, so, so. So infuriating when that happened. Uh, just one of them bloody things is when. When you're playing against Admiral Pitt in particular, you know, you try and get away with something and you just get punished. 
So <laughs> this time, after wasting what is that, a thousand credits or something? Jesus! I uh, send off two IFVs there to guard each other against the evil evils of Terradrones. There is actually a Terradrone in the machine shop, I think. There. <laughs> so that's a bit weird, but. Uh, wasn't stuck forever, so it's okay. So I did capture it for now, but frankly, it serves no real purpose because I don't have uh, vehicles. But it does save uh, does save the enemy from getting it. Need to build up another refinery. Gems are out. Uh, got too many too many chrono miners for one refinery, so you just can't get the income fast enough. Um, keep trying to push. I'm going to take this little hut out, because I'm planning to expand in that bottom left direction. It is closest, and I'm playing with the Allies, so they need to build a, a construction yard to expand, unlike the Soviets, which do get the uh, outpost. There's a whole load of uh, freedom fighters there, liberated slaves. Which is a little scary, because they are they're kind of glass cannons, they're pretty weak the armoured, but they do deal a lot of damage, got grenades against vehicles. Uh, I'm going to lose the, the IFV. I'm able to, Jesus, just take out the bunker, but the uh, terror drone that had the Ivan bomb attached to it blew up in the middle of my units, didn't split up. Didn't even see it, frankly. <laughs> I was hearing the ticking, but I didn't uh, see where the terror drone was, so... Um, Lost all those. Pausing my infantry construction training for a bit to try and get over this refinery, but uh, feels a little dicey. This is at the point where I'm like, you know, maybe pushed a little too hard, have too few units, and you could potentially uh, destroy me, but uh, keep building stuff up. Oh, there's a terror drone, but uh, it's gonna get taken out. Those freedom fighters up there. I feel like he could have come down with those and probably uh, done deal dealt some serious damage to me. But luckily, he's uh, left them up there. Is that a flying unit? Did I? Is that a vulture already? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Does he have one already? Well, terror drone, but uh, a bit of a waste. Gets one GI. So I was going to try and do a little move around with the, these uh, hammer tanks. MBTs are really powerful now. <laughs> they used to be, before the release of the uh, the full version, they were pretty kind of, ah, oh, jeez, why did I do that? But the uh, sandbags don't stop tanks in this. Uh, but uh, they used to be not that great, although it wasn't a huge buff that I gave them, but uh, now they're just like, uh, they're not, you know, singularly useful like in the original game, but they are pretty powerful. Um, as you may see in future games in this uh, this little best of three. Got some Rikishi. Not sure what I was planning to do with the Nighthawk. The Nighthawks really, because you can only fit uh, two Rikishi in. Because they do take... Uh, Two slots. Um, so really, that was, you know, I'm not thinking too well on this one. I don't think. Um, really, what I needed is was seals. I think and, uh, guardian GIs or grenadiers, the uh, classic combo. Gee, but they, these uh, vultures come in and uh, just destroy my nighthawks. I think. Uh, feels like the, I know it wasn't one shot because they have uh, splash damage. So I guess it's. Uh, was already damaged, but they uh, managed to take both out. Trying to sort my economy out now. Uh, he's got a little little army there, but uh, this whole time I'm kind of ignoring him as he takes the uh, the middle. Well, <laughs> not ignoring exactly, I am ignoring him, but I'd see it. I'm just uh, not. Frankly, this whole game I wasn't even sure what to do about that, so I've kind of just been trying to like pressure him in the middle. And, um, uh, or at the front, and uh, hope that <laughs> nothing happens in the middle. But, uh, I'm not sure it was the best best strategy. That bunker is in a uh, pretty, pretty solid spot as well. Bit of a pain. And we've got some uh, Ivan 
drones, so I try and split up, especially split up the Rikishi because uh, they're expensive, although they're quite well on them, so I mean, they do survive, but uh, I don't want to lose them all necessarily. Hammer tanks rushing in, and uh, emergency repair kind of uh, say made those tanks a little invulnerable for a second. I do have a, a Shogun out now though. So I want to try and push away those uh, Freedom Fighters with the Shogun on the low ground. Uh, we can just reach, but uh, quite well enough. And he's going to capture those liberties. Uh, and that's, you know, that's the, that's the skill of uh, Admiral Pitt in this mod, I think, is that he pays attention to everything. And uh, it's a real pain in the arse, but it does help. I mean, uh, a couple of liberties for like half the price with the engineer and uh, definitely not a bad little pickup. Uh, I always forget to pay attention to those things. Ooh, some scorches though. It's a little scary for my infantry, I haven't got that many um... Oh, I didn't actually click it there, but uh, yeah, it was a waste of uh, combat drugs, kind of. Uh, I don't really use it that often though, which I probably should, so it's, I guess it's better than uh, sort of letting, letting the uh, cooldown just kind of sit there without using it. Going to try and push forward with these Shoguns, but he does have the Vultures. Boom, boom. One gets, uh, what do you call it, depiloted. De Luckily these two don't manage to unpilot the, uh, the Shoguns though, so I don't lose them all. But uh, there is a Shogun sitting there waiting to get taken, and I know that Pitt's going to go for it as soon as he can. Uh, I do have an MCV here because I want to expand and uh, collect these gems. Try and, you know, better late than never, but try and counter the uh, his ownership of the middle. Probably not. You know, probably a little late, kind of. But, uh, we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Oh, kind of a dodgy engagement here. I uh, desperately deployed everything and then uh, in, a, in a kind of an awkward spot, but uh, kind of managed to cut him off at least from running straight into my uh, new expansion because I think that's what he intended to do. And I don't want to let that happen. Ooh, Jesus. MBTs, man, they're pretty scary. Pretty scary. Don't want these guys going up there. Jeez. Jesus. I do have this now though, so my money should be okay. When it gets going. Uh, vultures. I'm not sure it was really worth it for him, because he did lose a couple. But that's a lot of uh, freedom fighters. That's a lot of freedom, freedom fighters. They die quick with deal ton of damage, so... And he has that Shogun! <laughs> he has the Shogun! It's not right, but he has it. Um, and the shells are starting to rain down. Luckily I have plenty of power though, so I'm not that uh, bothered. He's got a uh, Death Hand up there as well. <laughs> death Hand silo that I just saw. So, that's like a ticking time bomb. Ticks down pretty pretty quick. Just trying to ignore it. To get uh, the gap generator up there, which does, will stop um, him from being able to fire the Death Hand into my base. But on a map as small as this, Death Hand can probably reach everywhere, so... Uh, well, not everywhere, but pretty much. Uh, and he's going in with these uh, bloody units, so I do lay down the uh, combat drugs. And that lets me get some good shots off, especially because he stops moving. I don't know if he's distracted or something, but uh, he stops kind of running in. So it does give me uh, the chance to kind of clean up. Sure. Oh, I guess he was distracted by the uh, run by there, which is actually pretty cool. More worthwhile than I thought. I just selected a Chrono Miner as well that's gonna fuck off over there, which is not good. 
God, I hate it when it happens. And he's got uh, Scourges now as well, which is uh, not nice. And the Death Hand. Luckily the Death Hand's kind of wasted, but uh, Scourges took out my infantry. Do still have uh, some Rikishi here, which do uh, more damage than you might think. And uh, some great survivability. And some liberties, so... Doing too bad. Uh, Kind of just the right unit comes in there, though, with the grinders and the uh, and the blights that have no anti air. Trying to cover my base, gap generators. Uh, I have one. Yeah, I have one in my expansion base too. But I did just hear, I think, the uh, death hand ready again. Ah, Jesus, the scourge suicided into my. Uh, What's it? What's it called? A scrambler. So I was trying to go for that grinder, which would have been done uh, pretty nice uh, kind of damage. Get drugs and balls. <laughs> Look at that. That was perfect. I just deployed, from the, like when I heard the the, the missile go. No bloody reason. Uh, well, I think I deployed to try and shoot down the uh, scourge, but uh, yeah. very unlucky time. Hmm? Oh, we attack. And yep, those infantry all getting cleaned up. Lost one of the IFVs there to the uh, to the vultures, which no doubt is immediately going to capture. Ridiculous. So I'm just trying to go for air here, mostly because uh, I want to kill that shogun on the cliff, and that's my. Uh, Mm, expensive solution. Look, he has those blights, but he's not using them. I think maybe he's just a little too kind of distracted here, a little worked up. So, do a little push here. Another scourge. Luckily, though, scourge primarily just leaves radiation and uh, reduces the armor of the units that it hits. Uh, luckily, the uh, death hand missed. There is some anti-air up there though. I'm not sure I keep an eye on my... Uh... Oh yeah, got some infantry in there. I'm not sure I keep an eye on that Black Eagle, but I think the Shogun does die. Oh, I'm going to save it until I can uh, maybe use it a little better. I really want to take out the airfield, honestly, because... Uh... It's uh, been a pain, although he has two. I'm going to get rid of the psychic sensor though. <laughs> the uh, one of the few times it shows up, and it's dead. The scourge shots. Pretty uh, brutal. And the uh, showman is not dead. It will be. It will die soon. It's being a pain up there. Luckily, you can't target the uh, shit underneath, but it will fire automatically, obviously, at targets. Ugh. Ugh. Got a split. Let's see. Do you launch the paradrop there? Try and distract him and maybe sh uh, kill the uh, scourges as they spawn, as they get created. That would be nice. I'm not sure he's actually harvesting the gems at the top, though. He just has you know, a base there. And I'm kind of desperately holding on at this point, I feel like. I don't have a whole lot and uh, don't have a plan. Don't have anything, man, without a plan. It's not good. Oh, Christ, that grinder was so nearly dead. You've got to finish off grinders when you can, otherwise they'll heal up like this little bastard. <laughs> Healing off my... Uh, or refinery, and I don't really have any anti tank as well. IFDs are not anti tank. Ooh, uh, he did manage to somehow capture uh, two IFDs, two IFDs of mine, and then uh, he put some bazookas in. Since they have a pretty interesting little, little combo. I just want to like, uh, take out these Ivans and sacrifice an IFD if I have to. And 
Booger. Low Booger power. balls. <laughs> Unit lost. The death hand just uh, got fired into the, I guess, a gap in my uh, gap generator. Certainly generated a gap in the base there, allowing the death hand to fly in. Kind of a waste of the black eagles there, I don't really know. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just trying to be a uh, pain, I think, and delay the inevitable. There was something going on back in my base. Oh, yeah, it's those uh, freedom fires. Fighting for freedom. Killing. Jeez, they just killed uh, one Chrono Miner. Are they going to kill another? At least one Chrono Miner. And a couple of Tesla IFEs is really making those those things worthwhile. Uh, desperately just need to kill these uh, freedom fighters. Do get a robot tank out. But these, these uh, Tesla IFEs are pretty powerful for what they are. And because uh, they're another pretty rare sort of combo, and um, so they're probably more powerful than you would expect for the uh, cost of the combination. And fast as well, that's the, uh, that's the main thing. But pillboxes uh, do have an anti-tank weapon, and uh, the IFEs are light armoured, so... Can't really stand up to the uh, to the to the pillboxes. Man, what is happening here? I don't know. I think I think right now I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it after like uh, how many minutes has it been? Twenty-two minutes. <laughs> ah, he's uh light choppers as well. Luckily I have anti-air everywhere though at this point, so I don't think they're too much of a problem. But he did take out one miner. I'll finish one off. And another one, actually. So they're a, they're a nuisance. Uh, yeah, by 22 minutes I think I thought I was going to try and take the middle or something, but uh, too little too late at this point. And scourges. Christ. And the death hand. <laughs> And he's got uh, desolators now, he's on T4, so pretty, pretty dead, I think. I'm not sure, am I even on T3? No, I'm not, he destroyed my T3 with the, uh, with the uh, Freedom Fighters. So, I'm on T2 versus T4. It's probably not the best, uh, best thing. And I feel like maybe I can take out the death hand, but definitely not before it fires. Just uh, flailing around, it's pretty much uh, decided at this point. Got no money, got nothing mining on those uh, in those fields. So, And he's got Lamia as well actually defending his base, so I can't even rush in with infantry. Because their wheel will just get melted by Lamia. And I don't think even that horde of infantry would kill him. But I'm entirely sure. Desolator IFEs as well. Not good against buildings though, so. Just gotta clean off this little, little power drop. More of a nuisance than, than anything. But yeah, I'm kind of like, I can't go past there because there's Lamia. Uh, just wouldn't have been economical at all to try and go through that. Luckily though, look at that, he just <laughs> melt his own infantry. Okay, the slightly careless use of it though, so that's good for me. Demo truck just do a finish job. Three Devastators there as well. Which uh, doesn't sound like a lot, but in these kind of games, it means so much. Uh, and that's one of the things I also wanted 
To do with some of these maps is uh, to try and emphasize the effect of units. You know, so the small map means that those expensive, you don't need many of those expensive units to, to mean a lot because they can get to you pretty quick and uh, bloody hell that death hand. Perfect. Uh, yeah, and he has garrison that little hurt as well, as you didn't notice, so pretty useless. He does manage to scourge his own slaves though, I feel a bit okay about that. Try to ignore the <laughs> ignore the devastators. I think what I need is uh, black eagles, but because uh, he's, he's applied fusion thrusters, so they're moving pretty fast. So I think the eagle shots kind of don't do full damage, and uh, they're getting into my base. Not nice at all. Devastators explode when you kill them as well. So uh, at this point, they will deal damage no matter what. Like that one, but it's definitely over. I've got absolutely nothing, got no money, nothing left, no anti tank, and it's GG. Admiral Pitt wins the first one in this best of three.